To use a quiz activity in Moodle, follow these steps. First, turn editing on. Next, select Add an Activity and select Quiz. Next, name your quiz. You can add instructions in this area right here. If you want those instructions to be displayed on the main Moodle page, check this box. These options allow you to set time limits and to set times when the quiz will be available. For example, if I have this enabled, uh, that box checked, that is when the quiz will begin to be available to students automatically. If I check this box, that's when the quiz will close automatically. Notice I can set it down to the minute. If I don't want to use these features, I simply uncheck Enable. You can also set a time limit. To set a time limit, first click Enable, set your time, and select days, hours, minutes, seconds. One note, when using any kind of time-related uh, features, bear in mind that if you are using this and you begin a quiz in class, say, for example, you're using the time limit, and there's a fire drill or somebody comes in late or something along those lines, it will disrupt the flow of the quiz. So keep that in mind when you're using these features. Attempts allowed. If I select unlimited, uh, it'll the students will be able to take retake the assessment every, as many times as they want. If I select one, they'll only be able to take it once and they will be notified of this when they begin the quiz. Notice when I have either unlimited or anything above one um, attempt selected, uh, the grading method uh, window is enabled and it's going to ask do you want to use the highest grade, the average of grades, first attempt or last attempt. Let's take a look at layout and question order. Um, you can either uh, have the questions show as they appear when you edit it or when you first enter the questions into the quiz or you can have them be shuffled randomly. Uh, it's a good idea to shuffle them if you don't need it to be in a certain order because then it will by default create multiple versions of a test. Do you want each question to appear um, on a new page? So in this case uh, every the way this default set uh, for every page is going to be a new question. Uh, that is similar to what the end of course exam looks like. If you wanted to change that click the drop down. If you want just one page with all the questions on it so students would just scroll down you would select never have all questions on one page. Okay. For question behavior, you can have them shuffle within questions. Uh, do you want the, the uh, answers to shuffle within the question? For example, if it's multiple choice, um, A, B, C, and D will be shuffled each time. This is probably a good thing to do uh, just to create further uh, versions of the quiz. Okay, this is new for Moodle 2, how do questions behave. There's a lot more features with this. If you use Moodle before, this is the old adaptive mode, but they've added a lot of options. If I select adaptive mode, students will be allowed to uh, guess at a question. Say there's four multiple choice answers. If they get it wrong, they'll lose, say, a third of the points uh, available for that particular answer, but be able to, to guess again at the, at the uh, question. That's what adaptive mode will do. Adaptive mode with no penalties will then not apply any grade penalty to each uh, question. Uh, deferred feedback will show the students what they got on the test for everything except essay after they've submitted the test. So they go through, they take the entire test, click submit, and then they would see their grade. Um, immediate, I'm going to skip over this, I'll come back to CBM real quick. Um, immediate feedback um, is they will be able to submit each question and see what their score was on each question. So next to each question there will be a little submit button. They'll click that, they'll see their score for that question. Um, use it however you like. With this method just note that it's going to take students longer because they're going to be 
uh, more concentrated on what they scored in each question. It will totally change the dynamic of the assessment. Uh, interacting with multiple tries will allow the student to continue to retake the test um, uh, per each question. Manually graded will simply say you're going to, as a teacher, grade every question individually. Moodle grades things for you. This would disable that feature. Okay, I want to talk about these two options right here. Deferred feedback with CBM, immediate feedback with CBM. Um, this is a confidence scale. So if you were to use this, they would see the question and then at the bottom they would select how confident were you about the answer. The purpose of this is for formative assessment. Um, so a student would ask a would um, a student would answer a question, say they selected B on a question, and then at the bottom there'd be a confidence scale where um, it would say, okay, how how confident are you with this? Uh, very, somewhat, not at all. That way, a student would be able to take, say, some kind of a pretest or something along those lines, and you as a teacher would be able to see how confident they are in what they do or do not know. And in this case, I'm going to select this option. Review options will set what students can see in terms of um, how they did on the test. Do you want them to be able to see it during the attempt, right after the attempt, so after they click submit, later while the quiz is still open, and when I say open I mean this feature has been enabled, uh, which means the quiz is still available to the students, or after the quiz is closed, which means there's no more attempts allowed, um, the quiz is essentially done, they can go check that. Um, choose uh, whatever you'd like depending on what your purposes are for your your assessment uh, these other items I'm just gonna leave as is uh, one thing I do want to note and this might be a best practice in terms of how you are managing your test and that's to have the students enter a password if you put a password in here and you can be anything it's a very simple password um, like I'll just use pen in this case the students will have to enter a password so a good way to manage how you give an assessment using Moodle in class is to have all the students come into class and this is kinda of for a high school middle school model um, have them get out their laptops uh, log in to their computers go to Moodle log into the class and click on the quiz and have them get to the screen where they're gonna enter their password to take the quiz you as a teacher can then float around the room and ensure everybody's in the same spot and then give the password to everybody at the same time. That way you can ensure everybody's begun the test at the same time. Nobody got stuck anywhere or any of that kind of stuff. You can also um, set up a time limit between attempts. So let's say I'm going to let students take a, an assessment three times, but they're going to have to wait five days in between. If I wanted to do that, I would click this and select say five and then set this to days. It would not allow them to reattempt the quiz for five days. And this one specifically is between the first and second attempt. This one is for later attempts. For overall feedback, um, if a student scores within a certain percentile, in this case 100 to say 90, you could say congratulations you scored in the A range and so on and so forth. Feel free to use this if you would like. Okay, so at this time I'm going to click Save and Return to Course. And now I've successfully set up the parameters for my quiz. Next what I'm going to do is click on the actual quiz because right now I don't have any questions in the quiz. There's no grade for this quiz. I've just set up the management side of it. So let's set up the actual quiz. Okay, I'm going to be hit, taken to a screen that tells me um, what the grading method is and, and this type of thing. I'm going to click Edit Quiz. And when I click Edit Quiz, it's going to take me to where my questions will ultimately be. Right now, I don't have any questions in, in my quiz. What I do have is my question bank over here to the right. So the questions on the right are the questions that I have available to me. I've made these questions and I'll show you uh, in a later video how to do that. The, uh, this area right here are questions that have been added. So for right now I only have four questions created 
and I want to add these questions to this quiz. It's really simple to do this. I just click this checkbox. When I click this checkbox, notice all the other questions were checked, and I click Add to Quiz. Okay. If I want to add individual questions, I just click on the double arrows. Okay, so let's go ahead and add these. One note too, um, I can create categories, and this will be talked about more in the uh, other video, um, to where I can pull up just the questions that I want for this quiz. So I might teach, um, have three different preps, and in those preps I might give you know anywhere from 10 to 20 tests with all the questions that go along with that. You're going to wind up having a lot of questions in this question bank. So it's good to organize them. And again, we'll talk about that in, a, in another at another time. All right, so I'm going to select World History Quiz. It's telling me I have four questions in here, which is the only four questions I have overall. I'm going to check this box to select all these questions, and I'm going to click Add to Quiz. Okay, now that my questions have been added, I can move them up or down using these arrows, depending on how I want to order them. But in this case, it doesn't matter because I've chosen to shuffle the questions anyway. So it doesn't matter what order they're in here. I can preview uh, questions or edit questions using these items right here. Here's my edit button. Here's my preview button. If I know I want each uh, question to be, say, worth two points, I can go in and change that right here. Or in this case, I have an essay question. I might want that to be worth five. Uh, one important thing to note, uh, we'll talk about this again in a little, uh, at another time, is it is telling you what type of question this is, both um, in text and with an icon. Okay, maximum grade. I can change this to whatever I want it to be, say 20 points, and I'm going to click Save. Okay, and that saved that section. Okay, now for this individual uh, scores, I need to make sure I go back in here and change this to whatever it is. I need to save it each time I do that, which is somewhat inconvenient. Okay, now that I have my quiz set, I can simply either click back to my sample quiz, and at this point it's, it's ready to go. Um, the quiz is set, I've added questions, I've set up parameters. Okay, uh, if I want to, I can click order and pacing, and that will allow me to further uh, change some, some items uh, in my test here. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to leave this as it is. This is kind of a more advanced feature that we're not going to talk about at this time. So next thing I'm going to do to preview my quiz, and this is always a good idea to do, click on Sample Quiz. Now I've given one attempt, so this is what it's going to look like for the student. That's why this is a really nice thing is to try to take it yourself so that you know exactly what the students are going to see and flush out any problems that might be there. So I'm going to click Attempt Quiz Now. And um, I know my password's working now, so I'm going to make sure I have that right. Click continue. Now this is what the students are going to see. Okay, so my first question is, what year is it? That's my answer. And now this is that that confidence-based um, um, scale that I was talking about earlier. How certain am I that this is the correct answer? Um, I'm very certain in this case, so I'm going to select that. Um, this is my essay, so I put my text in there. Um, I'm going to select this as a correct answer, and I'm certain about that. And answer this one. I'm going to answer these incorrectly so you can see just a variation. And I'm just going to choose this here. Okay. Now notice a feature that students have for navigation is flag question. If they flag the question, 
then this is going to let them come back to it later so they know which questions they've skipped. If I want to remove it, I just click Remove Flag. It's telling me I haven't answered this yet. It's worth two points, and they will not see this edit question. This is what a teacher gets when they're previewing the quiz. So I'll scroll on the bottom, and I'll click Next. It's telling me I've, I've answered all the questions, so it's just double-checking to make sure I haven't missed any. And I'll click Submit All and Finish. It's saying, are you sure you want to do this because this is your last attempt? And I do in this case. Okay, neat part about Moodle, and this is a nice upgrade for Moodle too. Quiz navigation would allow me to, if I wanted to, um, navigate through questions this way. I only have four questions here, but on a 100-question test, this could come in handy. When I see green, that means I've answered it correctly. When I see red, that means I've answered it incorrectly. If I see white, it hasn't been graded yet. And if I see yellow, that means I have uh, it's partially correct. Okay? So I had this correct here. Green check mark tells me I got it correct. Two out of two. This one hasn't been uh, graded yet. I'll have to do this later as a teacher. That's another thing to tell t uh, students that if you have a lot of essay questions, Moodle is going to act as though they got zeros on all the essays. So if they take a um, 100 point quiz um, uh, and half of its essay and they get all the the multiple choice questions correct let's say they're only going to get a 50 percent until you grade the uh, fi um, the essay so make sure you communicate that to them okay and if you get something wrong you get a red X okay now, as I said in uh, a different video, we're going to take a look at how to make qu quiz questions. And also in another video, we're going to take a look at how to um, read the feedback you get as a teacher uh, so that that feedback is meaningful. But in this case, this is how you make a quiz and then add questions to it.